Hello and welcome, this is Al from Open Source Channel and welcome again for a new episode on how to install open source application. Today I'm going to show you how to install a copy of OS Class, it's a classified uh, application. The first thing, thing you want to do is download the latest version. I have already downloaded, so I'm not going to press, as you can see here, I'm not going to press the uh, download again. Right, and I also right click to and extract it in the same folder. Right, don't forget you can follow me on uh, YouTube, on my website, on Twitter, and of course you can follow me on Google Plus as well. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is go to PHP My Admin and I'm going to create. OS class database. Once it's been done, it's already existed, so has already done it. Here we go. This is the database I created. I'm going to upload the files to the server. I'm going to use uh, FileZilla and what I'm going to do here, I'm just drag and drop and I'm going to wait until everything's done. So I'm going to pause uh, and resume it as soon as finished. All right, so it's been uploaded. I'm going to close this folder, minimize this for now, go back to the browser, and I'm going to refresh the domain here. And there we go. Now the first thing good to have is an error because it's never been installed. You cannot find the actual configuration file, the config.php. All you need to do is just press install and going forward. It's going to tell you if everything's fine. It's going to be on the with, with the actual green tick here. If everything's fine, you will see all green ticks, right? It's up to you if you want to to uh, you know, if you want your site to be appeared to search engine like Google, and here also is up to you if you want to send the crash reports to OS Class. I usually leave that uh, both clicked, so I press run the install. Localhost is my host. OS Class is the name of the database, and here I'm going to put the username. For my case, it's going to be database. For you, uh, you need to actually look at the uh, again your hosting service. You can create, of course, your own username in uh, cPanel or Plask. Now I'm going to insert my password. Again, this is based on my user. Uh, if I go show here, and if I go to uh, let me see, let me do this for a second. User, here are all my users, as you can see a database. Uh, this is the actual user that I have created. So you can create your own. So I'm going to insert the database. The password, sorry, for the database. And the table prefix usually comes all, you know, like OC. I like to change it to make my own. In this case, I'm going to use OS. Then I'm going to press next. Comes with that. You now it's doing its own things. It's installing all the files and the configuration. Now it's asking me to add the username and the password. Now I'm going to use the password admin just for this uh, installation. Logically, make sure that you uh, create a very strong password. Now I'm going to choose the title of the web site. And the email address. Okay. 
and I'm going to use uh, my location in this case is going to be United Kingdom and I'm going to make sure it's all regions then press next yeah it's going to tell you again the username and the password is good you know I don't know why but uh, they actually make sure that it's in clear just in case you forgot and presume but anyway this is the login password now I'm going to click on finish and go to the administration panel and I'm going to insert the uh, password in that case it was at the bin one two three four I think uh, at the And there we go, we are in the dashboard. Now we're going to show you the uh, the main website. And there we go, you got the OS class application installed on your server. I'm going to show you a little bit behind the scene. Uh, you got a lot of uh, information here sorry about this my microphone is getting a little bit uh, old so i need to change it <laughs> let's go to the uh, plugins there's something i want to show you you got like uh, google analytics and google maps already uh, not installed but ready to be installed just by clicking install and then you can configure the analytics by clicking configure and the track id that's all you need to do if you click on plugins and market you will find more information on what they got like uh, the plugins templates languages pack now here a lot of things are uh, premium so you need to pay for it for the languages they'll come free templates usually they charge about 20 from 20 dollars upward uh, this one is free I think And as you can see here, some of the templates with, uh, you know, they're based on uh, the country. For example, that's Italy, Spain, Brazil, so on and so forth. These ones, they look like they're also free. Now, at the moment, you cannot charge any money for the OS class. It's, like, it's working out as, uh, as a free. But if you would like to charge money for the advertising, what you're going to do is just go to market plugins and search for PayPal and this one is premium but it is also a free version that said it's called payments just press on the load press OK and just press install and then again press on configure here you can click on premium ads publishing fees if you want to charge and here show option you can actually enable PayPal payments once you need the PayPal API information I'll go to your PayPal and uh, I think it only works with the PayPal business I believe I'm not sure you also got sandbox if you try before you can go live right uh, as you can see it's very simple to use very nice done and uh, that's it you know let's have a look at this yeah everything works perfectly well thanks again for watching my tutorials don't forget to subscribe on my youtube channel subscribe and share it and like my videos thanks again and i'll see you next time